Hello friends and PEV fans, this is Jimmy Chang and I'm riding with electric scooter connoisseur Andrew and we're going to be comparing and contrasting the brand new InMotion L9 electric scooter with one of the most popular commuter scooters around, the Segway 9Bot Max. I'll also be announcing the winner of the InMotion L9 electric scooter giveaway, so give this video a thumbs up right now and let's get started. Is this where we're meeting right here? Yeah, this is where we're meeting. Today, we're comparing scooters. A lot of times these two scooters are considered kind of clones or very similar, but uh, you've been riding them now for a little bit and um, tell, tell us what, uh, what your thoughts are. Oh, absolutely. Well, it's funny because I was watching your video for this new in motion scooter and I looked at it and I was like, man, that looks so similar to the 9Bot Max, except for it has suspension, undercarriage lights, um, and then turn signals, which I thought were really nifty. So I've got a chance to ride it, kind of giving you back my feedback. So you can okay. see it's about an inch, two inches taller. I also like this locking mechanism. I thought it was pretty sweet because a lot of people say that this is the Keeley's Hill to this scooter is this... Um, to the 9Bot. It's to the 9Bot is this has this little plastic safety thing. And sometimes if you're not paying attention and you go to close this clamp and this is in the way, you can actually break this plastic piece. Oh, I see. And it's just a piece of plastic, yeah. Oh yeah, that's just... Exactly. That's just plastic thing. It's just plastic and people have actually mentioned that it's snapped on them when they're riding it. So this locking mechanism is pretty pretty awesome that it has this thing to lock onto. Yeah. Um, not really a plastic piece. Yeah. I'm not sure about this because I haven't had a chance to really ride with it, but it seems really, really sturdy. Mm -hmm. And then... That's seems it. like that's it it just drops huh yeah so i didn't even realize that and it beeps if it's not turned off okay so, so let's turn this off real quick. real quick long press and then this also has a clip on yeah here. so the clip you yeah. Yeah. Like, it's a little bit heavier huh it is heavier it's 53 pounds 53 where this one is i think 43 pounds okay yep yeah. you grab it in the middle of the stem yeah. it does feel a lot more equally distributed but you can tell it's definitely heavier mm -hmm. I love the suspension on it it's it's kind of interesting so what I'm seeing now is a lot of people are actually upgrading their 9 bot maxes and I sent a picture to Jimmy the other day that looked identical to the in motion suspension um, that people are paying hundred dollars to add the front suspension and people are paying about 150 to add the rear suspension as well the other thing that I noticed was the Y necks look almost similar if you look at these necks they're very, very similar. The lighting on the 9Bot is kind of, to me, it, it works, but almost worthless to me. I, where is the where is the front headlight here? The front headlight is right here. Oh, okay, so, okay. Right exactly. There. Yeah, and yeah. it's only one light, and then where this one is actually two lights, and we can turn that on real quick. There so there's that, and then here's and this one. Obviously, it's tough to tell because it's so bright out. Exactly. The other thing I noticed about this is I do love that it has turn signals, but it's a little too sensitive, I feel like, is if I'm just carving left and right, it'll turn on the turn signals. And at the daytime, it doesn't really matter. But what I was thinking with Jimmy was if I was at nighttime and someone's behind me, they might think I'm turning when I'm not actually turning and then try to get around me. So that's the one thing that I that I thought was kind of interesting about the turn signals is I love it that it's hands-free, it's all weight distributed. However, it could maybe cause some issues if you're one of those people who likes to carve. If you're just going straight and then you turn, that's totally fine. But for me, I, I hate going straight. I, I'm always carving no matter if it's a scooter, one wheel or EUC. Okay. I feel like the deck on the motion is a little bit longer, um, but the 9Bot is a really good sized deck. That's why I suggest people not to get the other one, the LP version, because the LP version actually shortens the deck a couple inches. Um, and so my father-in-law didn't like that. He didn't realize that when he ordered one as well. The other thing I like about the in motion is the tire size. So the tire size we found is 10 inches, but if you look at them side by side, the treading on the in motion is better and it's a little bit wider. This one is probably about another inch thicker than this. So we've got this thick, like right there, you're looking about almost a half inch to an inch thicker of tire. And then I feel like this has a lot better treading on it. I feel like this is faster to get to top speed if you hold down acceleration. There's something that's kind of weird that I've noticed about the in motion is where if I press it and then if I don't go all the way to 19 miles per hour or 18.6 and I stop at like 12, and then try to get it back to 18, it kind of has a lag feeling where the Segway 
kind of is smoother. If, if for some reason you just lay off of the, um, the throttle and you need to throttle it back up, it'll just pick right back up. Where this one almost had a little bit of a delay. That's the only really thing that I, I'm not the biggest fan of with this. Do you see that it loses speed once it gets down to 80% battery? I'm not sure if it's 80% battery, but there definitely is throttling when I was doing my speed test. Um, because when I was towards the end of the speed test, I think I was, I couldn't get past 14 miles. 14 miles per uh -huh. hour. The reason why we see 18.6 is what regulation has appointed for scooters to go, a max of 18.6 miles per hour. And then other countries, it's even lower. And I think um, European countries, it's only set at 15 miles per hour. I do love that it actually has two charging ports, which, which was kind of interesting to me because the nine bot does take about eight hours to charge. One thing I really like about this is you get all the features for $900. By the time you buy a 9Bot Max and you add suspension to the front, suspension to the back, and there's a new thing that came out with undercarriage lighting that's on Kickstarter, by the time you add all three of those things, you're gonna spend about $200, $300 without labor, and you're gonna be putting it on yourself. Where this is almost really nice, it's a full complete package for $900, I believe. What InMotion has done here is they've kind of put all the bells and whistles into the this package and it's it's I think a really well done package. I mean when I say all the bells and whistles So what we're going to do now is we're going to do uh, a speed test and we're going to start over there with both the 9 bot and the in motion and we're just going to race across and see who finishes who crosses this uh, this line here first. That's our speed test. I've, uh, how much do you weigh, Andrew? I weigh 180 right now. 180. Okay, and I'll, I'll wear my backpack, and I'm about 180 with all my gear. <laughs> okay. Okay. Way to sell me out on my weight, Jimmy. <laughs> 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 about half a length further so i mean you can see i'm a little bit further your braking is a lot noisier yeah it locks it up <laughs> locks up and leaves some cool skid marks all right so there's the brake test i'd say they're about equal we're gonna get riding all right so we're just gonna zip around and, and test these guys yeah so this thing has a lag to it Finally, the moment many have been waiting for. The winner of the InMotion L9 electric scooter giveaway is... Congratulations. Check for my reply to your winning comment for details on how you can claim your InMotion scooter. Thanks to everyone who participated and special thanks for InMotion for sponsoring the giveaway. Until next time, be sure to give thanks for what you have and when you ride, remember to wear your safety gear. Wings over the Rockies. The